uh, when we roll up, we should have 3000 in cost and we should have 25%, right? Because the average of two 25% should be 25%. So we'll hit the roll button, rolls up, we got 25% and 3000. Hey everyone, this is my SharePoint questions and I am Andrew Hess. So today I wanted to recreate a roll-up field in our Power App. You know, this came to me in, in a question in one of the videos. So this is the question based off one of my other videos and the, you know, they were like a couple suggestions. You know, if you can make percent completed an automated calculation instead of a manual input, that would be great. And, and something similar, you know, for things like work. So this is specific to my Power App and I was creating a task list. And we wanna auto calculate things like percent complete based on if it's a task or a subtask. So the subtasks should auto calculate to the percent complete. And I was like, okay, how are we gonna do that, right? And I was thinking, all right, so I'm gonna create a checkbox. So I'm gonna input a checkbox in here. And this is gonna say whether we auto calculate it or not. And we'll just call it roll because it's actually like a roll up, right? So this is very similar to Microsoft Project or some of your other uh, project um, tools out there that you might use to create a, a task list where it will roll up. Now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a visibility. I want the ability to roll up if this item, that task type, that's my field here, is equal to, uh, let's see, task, then it's true, else it's false. So I only want the roll up checkbox to appear if the task type is a task, right? If it's a subtask, we don't want it to roll up. Um, that's how I'm gonna start this off. So we have three checkboxes now, and each of these are on our tasks. And if you notice the order ID, right? There's, there's um, no decimal here. For the subtasks, we have decimals. In a previous video, we made it possible for us to be able to change, you know, the order if we want to. We could just, you know, select this uh, toggle here and we can change the order if we wanted. But for this video, we're gonna keep going with this roll up idea. And basically, the, the way I see it, it's just doing math. Like that's all we gotta do is figure out the math behind it. So on, actually on check. On check, we're gonna select the parent. We also want to do that, select parent on the on check. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to patch. I'm going to automatically patch as soon as someone hits that checkbox. And so we're going to patch. And what am I going to patch? So for me, this is in SharePoint. This is a, a project task list and there's many tasks in here, right? This is tasks for all my projects. It's not just my own projects. So when we patch our SharePoint list here, which what row do we want to patch? We want to patch the this item, the row that we're clicking on. So we're going to select this parent and when we click this checkbox. So we want to patch the plan line here. So I'm going to say this item. All right, so we want to patch this item that we're currently on. And what do we want to patch? I'm going to start with something simple like the cost. Um, We'll, we'll patch the cost. We'll sum 1,000 plus 100, the cost here. So I feel like that's the easiest thing to do. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna actually patch the title. We have to patch the title because it's a required field. So the title is gonna be the label task name dot text. So the first thing we're gonna do when we roll up is we're gonna patch the title over top of itself. And we have to, to do that because the task name is required field. You know, in SharePoint, the title field is required. Now the next thing that we're going to patch is going to be the cost. And when we do the cost, what we wanna do is we want to sum every subtask together. So if it's subtask here and subtask here, we wanna sum 100 plus 1000. So for the cost, I'm gonna start simple here. I'm gonna just patch everything in the cost field of this gallery. So let's start there. So in the gallery, let's sum 
my gallery name, gal tasks dot all items. So that's the name of my gallery. And we're going to uh, sum the cost. And let's get our ending uh, squirrel bracket and parentheses. So there we go. All right, so now, and this is just making it simple. When I hit play and I hit this checkbox, it's gonna sum 3,000, 2,000, and these all numbers. So watch when I hit the button, it now turned to 6,100, okay? But that's not what we want. We just want 1,000 and 1,100. So I was thinking about, okay, how am I gonna do this? And we have to watch out for delegation too, right? So I'm going to do it when it starts with a one. So when order ID starts with a one. Okay. What I really want to do is I want to filter gal tasks. I'm going to filter gal task, all items. And what am I going to filter it by? I'm going to filter it by the starts with our task order ID. So that's our label task order ID dot text when that is equal to this item dot task order id and i believe we just need the correct parentheses in here so when it starts with and we're filtering so we need another parentheses there we go so we have our correct parentheses in there so we're saying hey sum it when it checks all the task order ids when it's equal to the first one so when it starts with a one sum them all right so let's try the checkbox so we'll sum oh and it it overwrote and summed the total so you can see that this is 7200 plus another 1100 so the next time it'll be 8300 watch so 8300 all right so that's we're almost there now in in my case my scenario i have a column here called subtask let's only sum it when it's equal to subtask. So let's go back to our, our filter statement here. We're only going to filter it, and I believe the, the, the comma goes right here, when task type equals subtask. So that's when we're going to filter it. We're going to filter it when task type equals subtask. So I know this is complex, and but Technically, this is just figuring out how your data looks and doing some math behind it. So now when I hit the roll, it's going to write 1,100 and it rolls up 5,000. And then obviously this one has zero. It's going to remain zero. All right. So we have cost now rolling up. Let's try something like... Um, percent complete this may be a more difficult one right we have to count the number uh count the rows and then divide by the number of rows so let's try com percent complete all right so in our equation before the bracket we're going to add a comma here and i'm going to say percent complete okay so we're going to do percent complete let's start simple and let's just put a number in there uh let's put uh 0.5 or point, 0.5. So let's try it out. All right, we got it simple. Let's just, you know, roll it up. Percent complete is now 50%. All right, so we got that working. Now let's keep building on that. So just in case you're wondering, right, we're, we're doing a little math. I know this is basic, very simple math, but we're going to find the sum of the numbers divided by the total numbers of the values, right? So we want to find the sum. And pretty much this is the same thing, right? Filter all of them when they equal subtask. So we're going to do that again. And this is the percent complete. Right? So let's just, let's get that working first. So let's find the percent complete. There we go. Okay, so let's sum them. So we got the sum working. So it's now 100%, right? 100 plus zero is 100%. But then the next part is dividing by, so let's say dividing by count rows. 
And what are we going to uh, count the rows of? We're going to count the filter here, the filter statement. The filter statement, when it is equal to subtask, and if I add a parenthesis here, I believe we may already have it. Now, the important thing here is keeping, is being neat in your code, right? If you can get really confused very fast. So we're just doing the sum of our rows divided by the number of rows. So we're counting the rows where it's equal to subtask. And let's try it out. 50 already. Look at that. I, it seems so complex, right? But when you just keep your formulas and your code very neat, all we're doing here, and we can like, we could write in um, some comments in our code, right? You know, percent complete is the sum of all rows equal, uh, uh, that starts with the task order ID ID and equal to task name or task uh, type divided by the total rows of that task type. So we can put some comments in there just so we can understand uh, what's going on, but that's how we're calculating percent complete. So let's go ahead and, and create some more rows in here. Let's, let's just double check our work. So well, I'm going to make some uh, 3.1 and 3.2. So we're going to create a task. And, and it does default to 4. That's just the way I have it working right now. We'll do uh, 3.1. And this is run. So um, what can we do during run in our project? Uh, uh, create UX. We'll just say create UX. This will make it simple. Uh, priority is low. Percent complete. We're going to say, we'll put in um, 0.25. We'll say 25%. The cost is 1,000. Actual cost, 1,000. And this is a subtask. And it's not complete. And I, I'm not going to worry about the dates because I'm just not going to worry about the dates right now, okay? Forgive me about the dates. So I'm going to save. We got 3.1 in here, and it's a subtask. All right, so when I create the next field, I'm going to just leave it as 4.1 just to show you how we've done a lot of work. Um, this is going to be uh, create UI. Um, the priority is, is low. The percent complete, we're going to say 25% here also. And the cost will be uh, 2000 uh, no actual cost yet. We're not complete. It is a subtask, and I'm not going to worry about the dates or comments right now. Okay. So we can see this came in as 4.1, but in a previous video we came in here and we changed it so we can just write in 3.2 and write it right back, and then we changed our order ID. So if you want to see how we did that, I will put that in the description of the video. We did do that in a previous video where we changed the order ID on the fly. All right, so now that we have this um, roll button, roll checkbox here, uh, when we roll up, we should have 3,000 in cost and we should have 25%, right? Because the average of 225% should be 25%. So we'll hit the roll button, rolls up, we got 25% and 3,000. Let's create one more task um, just to double check. So we have create UX, create UI. How about we create uh, three point three um, create power bi so we'll just create some power bi it's a, a normal priority percent complete um we'll say we're already at 50 percent somehow i don't know just magically we're at 50 percent so the cost will be uh 500 um everything else is is correct i'm not going to put the dates in so we'll just hit save now you'll notice it has not calculated yet. You know, maybe we don't want it to roll up. So that's why I'm giving the option to roll up or not. And so when we hit the roll function, it's gonna be 3,500 and then these three numbers divided by three. 
So there it is. We now have 33.33333% and 3,500. Now we could cut this off and round. You know, we could do something like, um, so we could take our, our big giant long equation here and we could round the sum and then the very end comma, two decimal places, right? Or a number of digits. Um, let's say uh, three. three digits. There we go. So when we roll up, it'll be 3.33. You'll notice that my earned value is actually already calculated. Isn't that really neat? Because we, we calculated earned value in Power Apps. It's actually multiplying the 25% by 100% by 1000, multiplying this, and then it's adding them all together based on the cost. So we have 33% of 3,500. EV is already calculating because it is multiplying 33% by 3,500. EV is already calculated. That's something we don't even have to roll up. So it, it's really neat. So you notice right here, we're just multiplying this item dot percent complete times this item dot cost, and that's calculating our earned value. So I just want to say thank you for watching. I appreciate the questions. If you're new here, please feel free to ask me more questions. I do take your questions from YouTube, Twitter, uh, your email, wherever I get them, and I, I make videos about them. So I just want to say thank you, everyone who's watching, everyone who's supporting me. I appreciate it, and I'll see you next week.